That brush is so pretty. Isn't she pretty? This is one of our original brushes that we launched here at Kinoka4.com. Um, Ariel Dillon says, thank you. Treating you, I welcome. Sydney Grace says, a Lizzie Scopic Brush on site. That's Lizzie's nail. That's her signature. I feel like I need to learn Russian now. You should. Oh, you should. Do you know any? Yes, I went to school there. Oh, did you? Yeah. yeah. I like what part of Russia? Moscow. Oh, cool. What do you want me to teach you in Russian? Um, oh, I can teach you how to say naughty girl. Oh, yeah. Blahaya Dievichka. Blahaya Dievichka. You, the only, you're the only thing I come on IG for, KY775. I know, me too. Oh, thank I'm, you. I can you pass me that uh, racer clear, please? The what? The big jar of racer clear? This? Yes. Whoops. Thank I you. I just broke everything on Max's table. Just No, I love watching live. And even my husband, like, he'll hear your voice and he's like, are you watching my live? So <laughs> <laughs> think he's a little jelly jelly. Why? He can do live streams about masonry. No, I really want to learn how to use TikTok. And oh. Or me making walls, because I might be more interested. Yes. <laughs> But I actually can't make the walls, so I can make the walls. You're like, the walls were pre-done by Ruben. <laughs> Ruben. I'm just walking around in my bikini. <laughs> I'm just the visual of the group. Cindy Chris, I feel special because you are. You know, Max is so special. He's very, very much being special. Lizzie's special. We're all special. In our own way. In a fabulous way. Because <laughs> that's how we roll. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my god, I love it. I can't wait. I, oh my gosh. I got these high high gold boots. And I'm very excited, but I also, they don't really fit on my thighs because my legs are super thick. And so like, they're supposed to pull up higher on your thighs and they don't fit. So I might have to have the same shirt, like make a split in the back and put elastic. My legs are too big. Oh my gosh, and you have like, the countdown is on. Mm hmm so I need to hurry, but I've been really busy. Oh, KY75, so my husband likes to go on your TikTok for the tapping. I love Oh really? For the giveaways? Yes. What if you want to win over here? He's like, I want to win the fantasy. Oh, here he has a fantasy because he's married to KY575. And their name alone, KY. Your mind just goes places. <laughs> it's KY5, not KY. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Such a pervo. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Isn't that what you think of when you see, when you hear, yes. <laughs> when you hear that, that those words? I'm like, yes, juicy, yes. Oh my gosh, I love this like melted, like chunky gold moment. It is everything. It's beautiful. Love to be on nails. Says hello, Max. And Hi. Hi. And he doesn't want to win, he wants to out me. Oh, so it's like a competition. He wants to make you tap out. He's competing against her. Well, He's like, I'm gonna tap you win out. Win. <laughs> RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> you know they have a show in Vegas? Do they really? Yeah, I can't remember it was something that they went to go see and it was actually pretty good, but I was like, I don't know who the contestants are. Yeah. I stopped watching that show a really long time ago. Me too. It just like all the seasons just like kind of blurred into one and it wasn't as like good as it used to be. My daughter, Claudia, she's still watching, is She's been watching America's Next Top Model and she said like, it's just very entertaining, <laughs> especially to rewatch it because so many things are different. Oh yeah, and like they have like a season where they had like short models in there, right? Or something? Yeah. KY said 75 says, but he has learned a lot about nails. I'm sure he has. I try. That means I'm doing a good job like educating people because like I'm sharing the knowledge. Mm -hmm. I love this mix of the racer, not the racer color, this is the frozen flash with the glitter in it because it just makes it so much faster and easier to encapsulate everything. And I love your name, Max. You come up with all the names by yourself. Yes. You should have like a contest where somebody gets to name something, but only if you like it. No, because then people are like, well, I want I want your royalties. Oh, I'm like, no, that's okay. Oh. I'll just give my royalties to myself. Yeah. I'm holding it down just for a few seconds, let that acrylic polymerize and have the glitter stay in place. Just like that. Beautiful. Another small little wet bead. I don't know how to unfreeze it. Like, the comments are clean, but you're frozen. You can't see anything. Really? Maybe exit out of the video and then go back in. Oh wait, this isn't charging. Is this here? Is it oh, plugged in? Okay, Lysa75 says, are there stickers that would be Thanksgiving stickers? No, we are actually downing the sticker series. So. But they're not going to have any more Thug Life stickers? No, we are, but we're getting, we have, uh, I think, an oversaturation of sticker designs right now at the moment. So we are not going to have any holiday stickers this year, except for what's already on the website. Because we have like so many stickers, over 500 styles, so that's a lot mm -hmm. of stickers. The neon nails, I will say, that are these gel X. They are better. They're one, two, three, go. XXL sculpted pipe, Russian sculpted pipe, and they are everything. And they're made in America. They're not made in Taiwan. Nothing against anybody from Taiwan. Um, so you don't have any already Thanksgiving stickers? That no, are not right now. Maybe for next year, if, yeah. when we like do more stuff with the stickers, but right now we're focusing on like clearing out the inventory that we have already of the stickers that we have available. What would you put on, like a turkey? <laughs> <laughs> See,
see the thing with that is that it might, it's only seasonal, so only um, sell like during that time. Yeah, and as a company, we want to like focus on stuff that you guys can have all the time. Oh. These are everything. I agree. I'm so excited. And Cindy Chris has some fall stickers. We have lots of fall stickers on the website. That for sure we do. Okay, there we go. So clean up our brush. We did that pretty fast, though. Mm -hmm. Reading comments. Entertaining the children. The fantasy. I like when people ask, they're like, what's the fantasy? I'm like, the fantasy is this. This is the fantasy. <laughs> you are, you're watching the fantasy come to life. And they're like, but what is the fantasy? I'm like, then you can't know. <laughs> I love that. So now let us apply Donut White, which is a glow-in-the-dark white acrylic to the inside of the Fantasia. And now, since I've been doing my nails, every time I see people, they're like, oh my gosh, let me see your nails. And so I feel like, it's like, now I'm known for the fantasy. For the fantasy. And then it becomes like an actual thing you start saying all the time, like, the fantasy. Mm -hmm. Look at that, how beautiful that is, you guys. Beautiful. I love it. It totally works with my costume, too. Shira is not ready. Totally ready. I just need my boots to get my guy. <laughs> <I'm totally ready. laughs> Did you get boots already? Yeah. They're all shiners. They're really cool. I was gonna bring them. I was gonna bring my costume and try my costume with you. With the nails? I'm being too extra. They're like that's a life after. He has to go back to like designing things, making the fantasy. Yeah. But I need to get on it just so I can do the last minute adjustments and everything. And then we're the first thing. But I think when I go to a networking event with the costume party, I think I might wear my construction outfit. Oh, are you gonna go to that? Mm -hmm. I was thinking about it, but totally I don't know anybody. Um, you know me. That's one person. I'm gonna um, have. Yeah, um, my friend Star. You met my friend Star. I did. Yeah, at the salon. She's the one that might do your facial. Oh, did you ask her how much it was? Oh, yeah, I got the prices. Oh, okay. Because I don't know what all the stuff is, honestly, so I'm just gonna order the prices. But she does an amazing job, and then the girl Charlene that just did my pedicure is gonna go awesome. Okay. So I don't think there's gonna be full dancing. Dancers doing advanced full trick. The the fantasy. The fantasy. Wow. But they're not gonna have my nails on. Well, you better change them. Okay. I don't want to meet them. I'm embarrassed. Because I don't like meeting new people. I mean, I'm a shy person. I'll just talk to you. I'll just talk to you. Stranger. You're like, he's mute. Very J Lo y. Very Mariah Carey. If you have anything to say to Max, you have to say it to me, and then I will forward the message. Don't speak to Max directly. I'll totally be that wingman for you. <laughs> That's how Mariah Carey is. Did I ever tell you the story about Mariah Carey in Las Vegas? No. So when I was at the Louis Vuitton store, I was like, I was asking the girl there, I was like, do you guys know a lot of celebrities come into the store and things like that? And she was like, not really, because most of them want things like delivered to the room, so that way they're not like, you know, bombarded by people oh, or whatever, yeah. But she was like, Mariah Carey showed up. And she was really drunk, she was with her assistant. And she was like walking around the store and they went up to her and they're like, Miss Carey, do you want us to put you in like in a VIP room? Or, you know, so that we have a little bit more privacy, um, you know, whatever you need. And then she looked at her and then looked at her assistant and like walked away. And the assistant went up to the girl at the store and she was like, if you have something to say to Miss Carrie, direct it to me. And then I will forward the message, but please don't talk to Miss Carrie directly. Wow. And she was just trying to help her. Mm -hmm. like, I'm a fan. Like, no, she was like, you know, do you want champagne? Do you want a private room? Are you looking for something in particular? And then Mariah Carrie just batted her eyelashes and was like, don't talk to me. That's weird. But that's how she rolls. But do you think a lot of celebrities are like that where they have almost like a god? Oh yeah, a lot of people that are like very into themselves. I've heard things like that about J-Lo. Um, well, Diana Ross. That's a great thing. I'd like to think if I was rich and famous, I wouldn't be like that, but who knows what happens to when, when that happens. I know people that do nails that are like that. I'm like, what? girl, you paint um, people's yeah. nails. Yes. I can't stand people that think they're better than everybody else. Ugh. Well, not that I have, like, just like a natural instinct to be really nice to people, so I think it'd be kind of hard to be that. Mm hmm You're like, it's in my it's nature. Yeah, it's in my nature. Why don't you piss me off down? Oh my gosh, Essie girl, I'm um, 23 doing. She's the one that just did my pedicure. She oh, was, like, welcome to the fantasy. Yeah, Shirley, this is Max. So his products are the ones I was telling you about. And he's like, you're doing this. Right now, we're hitting the nail with a little bit of clear press on gel, which is our base. And we're going to saturate that nail really well to make sure we have perfect adhesion. I feel like I want to go to France again. Okay, yes, maybe I can go. Okay. Now that you have a passport, let's go this weekend. That is not more than three days. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's plenty. Oh, but that's such a long flight though, especially from Tucson. Let's go to China. It's faster. How many hours to China? Um, fourteen. Oh yeah, that's right there. Etsy goes twenty three. That's fun. I'm going to check out his site. Go ahead and put that in. So many cool things that I don't know. So many fantasies. Over two thousand colors. We're going to use light pink bubblegum gel today to apply them. 
Yeah. We could read a romance novel on the plane while we are going to China. Yeah. Yes. Everyone could hear on our whole night. <laughs> and we're gonna press that gel down, nice and firm. Remember, you guys, it's better to have too little than to have too much. The thinner the application, the more beautiful it will look. Look at that. Do you like romance novels? No, I don't like reading. That's why I like I had to stop playing Detective Pikachu because like this game has a lot of reading. It's hurting what my brain. <laughs> um, I haven't really listened to any audiobooks. I, I should though. Actually, I, if it's a really really good, I do enjoy it. Like I have read one book by Kelly Catrone, and it was called If You Have to Cry, Go Outside. And it was great. I love reading, but like now that I'm getting older, I have a problem focusing. Like I used to just over read and read and read, but now like I'm nothing. Hard, yeah. But I love it. Nancy Drew books. Yes. No, or, I can't read. No, Goosebumps. Yeah, I read the Goosebumps, but I wouldn't consider those books because they were, I mean, like, not full-on novels. They were literally small books. What was your, what, Harry Potter? Wait, I read all the Harry Potter books. Really? All of them? Isn't there a new one? Like, Lost Child or something? Oh, I haven't read that one. Okay, let's take it out. Let us apply the XXL Russian Sculpted Pipe. Oh, that's the pinky. I read all the Harry Potter books. Really? Mm-hmm. Are they good? Mm-hmm. Right at the cuticle area, 45 degree yeah. angle. Maybe, like, the book. I mean, I know it's a little cheesy, but to be honest, I like it. Can we shop online only or at site as well? I see if I want to do one. Online only, my love, but we do have curbside pickup. So if you live local, you can choose to pick it up and then our team will deliver it to you. Very nice. I feel like it'd be really hard to shop in here just because there's so many things. Like, even if you love people, it's like, how would you find them? They probably wouldn't be able to. Yeah. I want to make sure and it's I not wonky. Lot in here. He has like rooms with different names. Yes, there's the pine, there's the champagne room, there's pine wood. There is the scary room. There's the Lizzie room. There's the, the champagne, the VIP. It's called 319 after the Prince song. Nat, Ladybug Boss said hi, King. Hi, my love. Thanks for joining us today. Look at that cuticle, you guys. How it like it looks like it's blended already, and it's not. That's why it's so important to apply it really thin, and then right at the cuticle area, 45 degree angle, press down firmly. Okay, white side 75 says love curve side. I sometimes get lucky and get the. Oh, get to meet Roundface cutie. Oh, Mr. Roundface, when he's here. He's gonna be Scrappy Doo. If Scrappy Doo is I don't know if he can because he's a JW and they don't oh, do that kind of no, stuff. He can't. He's gonna be like, I'm just trying to walk around the rest of the dog. He's not gonna help me. He's like, it's non religious, non occult related. Okay, let's check the inside, make sure there's no Nalga. And if there is, just scrape it out. For those of you that don't know what the Nalga is, it is the excess gel that sometimes runs. Why, why does it have the same name as butt in Spanish? Because it looks like a little Nalga. Okay. So that was intentional. Yes, I okay. call it the Nalga. <laughs> but we got to scrape it out. Scrape out the Nalga. Scrape out, clean the Nalga. Um, SD Girl, one turn, or SD Girl 23 said, do you sell that light too? Which of course, like everything you see us use is available on the website. And that light is called the Pro Flashy Lamp. She has so many cool things. And they're all pink. She likes pink. pink. I mean, they're not all pink. That is her signature color. Now we're gonna seal the inside of the nail with a little coat of shiny. Oh, that's what my new pink in my salon is called, Max Pink. Really? Is it my pink? Yes. The color that I own? Yes. The one that I trademarked? You're like, oh, I just licensed it from you, Max. <laughs> just for the fantasy. Yeah, it was the third time. We did it three times. It, it takes a while. Perfection is not overnight. No, and I, I was, it was like, I would say like at night, I'm like, I don't like that pink. And my heart has been painting for me. And I had to tell him like, because the most men are pink is pink and they can care less. But Max would have known it was the wrong thing. Um, I had a feeling. Could I put that in? What would you suggest if I got gel on my thumb and finger and it isn't coming off? On the skin or on the nail? You might have to like submerge it in like acetone or get some of the remover pads because those are in, um they're not damaging to the skin and like soak your skin in there for a little bit so that way it comes off. And I like your outfit too. Because I'm all in black. Oh, and then I have a hat on because I need to wash my yeah, hair out. Like, I like that hat a lot. Etsy girl said, oh lord, I'm going broke and low. I follow King of Nails. I have to go. Love it. Bye, Charlene. Thanks for joining Where do you have to go? Why are you leaving? Don't leave me. I don't have work to do. She doesn't. She's already at work. She's here. This is a full-time job. We apply these nails in under 30 minutes with design, you guys. How fast is that? That was really fast. That was very fast. You know, I'm not even hungry. I feel like my Ozempic is starting to barely kick in now. Wait, when did you take it? Monday. Oh, gosh. Well, when did I take it? Saturday? I don't remember. <gasps> Friday, maybe? Ooh. You don't write it down on your phone? No. Okay, why is it 75? My skin. I tried rubbing acetone, but it's very drying. We'll try to remove her back. 
But as it's it normal, it's gonna dry it out. And you're gonna have to soak it for like maybe 10 or 15 minutes. But it's really important to remove the gel before you cure it so that way it doesn't harden on the skin and you can develop an allergic reaction. Alicia Gomez, 25 cents a year, you're the best. I try. Oh, that's so sweet. I love how these nails look like jewels. Yes. They're serving everything. There we go, you can take it out now. I feel like your mom would like the Real Housewives shows. Does she like to watch those? No? She, her, she likes to watch um, Cops. <laughs> and then what was that one where like, the children got kidnapped? What was that one guy's name? You know what I'm talking Dr. About? Bounty Hunter. No, what? Um, children were going to be kidnapped down here. It was like about a show, maybe America's Most Wanted or something. I don't know. She likes to watch stuff like that. Unsolved Mysteries. Mm -hmm. I think she's trying to find out a way to kill me. Like, <laughs> she's like, what can I use? I miss Dog the Bounty Hunter. I know, I, I used to really like that show, and I thought it was like really fun to be on um, the Bounty Hunter. People would ask me, they're like, what celebrities nails would you like to do? And I was like, Beth Chapman, oh, yeah, Dog's wife. Awesome. But she went peace out already. Yeah, that's very sad. And he married somebody like right away that looks just like her too. Yeah, like she died and two weeks later, he was already like, moved her in. Yeah. Did, you know who else got married? Um, I saw him. I learned a lot on Instagram. Um, Hulk Hogan. He got remarried to like a really younger girl mm -hmm. and i heard that brooke because i used to watch that show too whatever oh yeah um, hulk uh hank knows hulk knows best or something yeah hogan knows best and i guess brooke didn't go to the wedding because she didn't have food oh. that's when someone says you look just like your dad and you're a girl i would be upset i kind of look like my dad and i'm a girl i mean he passed away but i kind of do look like but when your dad is hulk hogan and you're a girl <laughs> um, but she had his body naturally too yeah but i thought she was cute i have her cd somewhere do you really yes like her? But I used to really like that show. And do you know what her song was called? What? MySpace. MySpace. That's hilarious. You got it. MySpace. <laughs> um, KY675 said doing Dolly Parton's nails would be so cool. Oh, that would be really cool. Uh, maybe, but she would just probably get a color. She needs, like, little... But oh, supposedly she's a really nice person in real life, too. Yeah. You could probably talk her into doing something extra cool. But she seems like a really cool person. Mm-hmm. What else would be fun to do nails on? Hmm. I don't know. I'm not, like... As much as I like celebrities and things like that, I wouldn't like it doesn't really like catch my attention if that makes sense. Yeah. Wanting to do celebrities else. Or like to meet them. I know I used to always like my ex would tell me because I used to be obsessed with like Britney Spears and Kim Kardashian and stuff. And he would be like telling me, he'd be like, if you if you met them, they wouldn't even like you. <laughs> That's so mean. You're like Kim is my best friend. I'm like, we're like best friends, so we're so mates. Have you seen Kim on American Horror Story? No, I haven't watched it yet. Oh, it's already in episode four. I need Oh, but I asked, because I asked my daughter, Claudia, if you're still watching about it, and she said she didn't watch it because um, they kind of brought the writer's strike and the actor's strike and all that stuff to make that show. But they filmed it a while ago. I guess it was still going on. I think I think it went on for a while. But it's Kim Kardashian, so it's okay. I want to see what she looks like. Um, you want to see the texture on her skin? I want to see. I don't know. Mo Beautiful Nails, what nail is that? This is Russian. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is the Russian sculpted type. Correct. Okay, you can answer again if you want that. <laughs> and then I'm using the refined it to go around the cuticle and just make sure that everything is nice and smooth. All the fantasy. Love it, love it. I seriously. I made them a little bit more pointy today too, just to like dress up the shape because by like you do so much with your hands that yes. sometimes the shape can round out. So I'm not too worried about like worried about it being too sharp because with all the with all the free masonry that you do, with all the construction you do, they'll be like rounded out in a few days. Yes. I love them. Well, beautiful nails have two XL. Actually, they're just Russian sculpted pipe. I keep saying XXL sculpted pipe, but it's just Russian sculpted pipe. So I apologize for the confusion. No, no, seriously, felt like a less attractive version of myself pretty fast today because I had no. Like Beautiful something was missing. Yeah. Like something was off. Something was missing. Yeah, like I feel like part of my identity now. <laughs> You're like I am the nail, and the nail is me. I am the fantasy. Fantasy is me. Versace. I got it at the forum shops. At Do you remember when the forum shops at Caesar's Palace were like the place to go shopping? Oh, yeah. In the night when Lucia had money! She was like, oh, I was at the forum shops at Caesar's Palace, and now you go there, and it's like, mm. I haven't been there, so I wouldn't know where to buy it. It's not like... It's not what it used to be. It used to be, like, super high-end and everything. Is it, like, going to their outlet shop, and they used to get half the brand? No, well, kind of, a little bit. But just pretty. Because then they even close the menu, and you're like, what is this? Oh my gosh, that looks like um, Walking Dead, like, set. So I'm using the Diamond Buffer bit, you guys, to go around the cuticle and get everything nice and smooth, make sure there's no product stuck to the skin. So there was this outlet town, literally this town just like survived on this outlet mall, this strip mall that was there, remember? Mm -hmm. It was, yeah, so there's this town called Casa Grande that's right between our Tucson and Phoenix, which is a big city. Cause it's a hundred miles. So it was like literally at 50 miles, right? Mm -hmm. And like now this strip mall is gone. 
Well, I mean, it's still there, the building, but there's no store. There's no stores. And it's just, it looks like The Walking Dead said, like, you go there and, like, either somebody that's cracked out is going to attack you or a zombie. And it used to be the place to go to. I thought that was more like when I was in high school. So it was kind of but, like, the guest outlet. Yes, like, it was super cool if you got to go to the guest outlet and buy clothes. I still like guest clothes. The guest outlet, Liz Claiborne. Mm -hmm. All those stores. The fantasy. Yes. Now we have our own at 20 feet. That don't, are not really that good. No, they're not. I went shopping there with her name. I had gone to the school at the mountain and then on the way home I went to Tempe. So we were just going shopping in our bikini. And they were cool? Yeah. They are like, whatever. <laughs> oh, I, I'm obsessed, you guys. Look at that. She is serving it. So tell me if you should please come to the networking Halloween party with me. I don't have anything to wear. Oh, I brought you. <laughs> it does not fit. Okay, I have so many more costumes. What do you want? Um, a burka. Well, An abaya. <laughs> they don't have an actual but seriously there's so many things what do you want to be thin um you are thinner i don't think that's possible yeah it is um, mm, a power ranger okay then order the costume i can't fit into a power ranger costume it shows everything well then get one of those like big muscle bodies under but power rangers are slim they're not muscular you can't cow power and wear power rangers i can be a villain the Power Rangers villains, there were so many. Oh my god, why don't you just be He Man? Because I don't have a He Man. Well, isn't. Oh no, he's. um... Oh, I don't have a body to be He Man. But they give you the fake muscle body. But then they don't look real. Unless you buy those like silicone looking ones. Have you seen those? Like, you know, they have breastplates? Oh yeah. They have like like muscle plates oh, that are made out of silicone. They look really dope. Get one of those. I feel like that's going to be really expensive. It is. That's super expensive. And hot too. They're made out of latex. I'm going to be all sweaty underneath it. <laughs> they look real too. Can you imagine taking selfies with them? Mm -hmm. Post them on OnlyFans. I know the girl that did my pedicure, I think she left already, but she told me I should make the OnlyFans for my feet because she said I have my feet. But then getting people to subscribe to your OnlyFans can be the hard part. That's what I know. I told Claudia about it and then she said, like, well, you have to treat it like a full time job. And the thing is that she loves you. Like, Never mind. Okay. You ruined it for me now. <laughs> okay. I was sending out all the pictures of my feet on the internet and people pay me. <laughs> if life is only really that easy. I know. Oh, you should do pictures where you like dress up like celebrities like Anna Nicole Smith. Oh, that one also be a full time. I'm gonna need a costume room in here. A seamstress, a full time team. Yes, yes, I would love that. Like, I love costumes. Crystal Harris. Crystal Harris. Nomi Malone. We're gonna take acetone, we're gonna chemically etch the nail, we're gonna any dolls. I feel like I did these really fast. Where's the white? Or that was on top. What white? You think you're gonna do white room in the dark? Oh, I did already. It's on the tip. Oh, okay, okay. I'm supposed to like. You're like, Max, I'm missing something. So it's white as like the base of the ombre, see? Oh, yeah. Oh, they look awesome. Christina Scott is here. Hello, my love. We're going to let that dry for a few seconds. And she lives no fuzzy wuzzy. So if you're going to chemically etch the nail, you guys, only use pure acetone. Never, ever, ever use alcohol. Alcohol will cause lifting because alcohol contains water. And I'm going to seal the nail with Wonder Gel because Wonder Gel is our rubber gel top coat so this will help protect the nail from staining or anything like that. Make sure you hit the signs. Have you gone to the movies, Lizzie, to go see any scary movies? No, I haven't been to the movies for a year. Well, well after that summer, I went to the Barbie movie this summer. Oh yeah, but you went early. Oh so it doesn't count. So that doesn't count. Yeah. Do you like scary movies? I mean, I would if they scare me, but they don't scare me. Bored. Yeah. I don't like being disappointed. I kind of want to see The Nun 2 or Saw 10. I haven't seen any of the Saw movies or The Nun movies. Really? I started watching Nun 1 and I fell asleep. Hey, that's what I don't want. I want to like something that's really going to scare me. I started watching, also, they have like all the Leprechaun movies on Hulu. Oh, I see. It reminded me of a friend when we were growing up and reminded me of her dad. Like, he was like, Ew. Like, was Poor guy. Did he talk like that too? Oh, I don't remember. But he was like Mexican, so I feel like he didn't have like a Leprechaun <laughs> He didn't sound Irish. No, yeah, no, 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 no. But honestly, the best Leprechaun movie is Leprechaun in the Hood. No, 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 no. It's so good. But it's like, it doesn't take itself too seriously, which is the best part. Mm -hmm. And Ice-T is in it. Oh, no way. Yes. Oh, really? really? I watched that movie like 4,000 times. And the movie looks like they made it with like $20. <laughs> but it's like so bad it's good. I 
Oh, I heard that one of the House of Usher is good. Have you watched it? It's on um, Netflix. No, yeah, I haven't. It sounds like something from like Shakespeare or something. Well, it's um, based on Edgar Allan Poe. Oh. He was the one that wrote the actual um, Fall of the House of Usher, but it's not. It's like loosely based on some of his different stories, but it's also like about a millionaire family or something. Us. It's kind of like Succession, but like with a weird Halloween twist. Really? Yeah. Is it good? She said it's good. I haven't watched it yet, so I'm going to start watching it. I'm trying to finish up The Walking Dead. I'm on, I think I'm on the last season. Or the next season. I don't know, but I've invested so much time in that I want to finish it out. The Walking Dead? Mm -hmm. I've never seen it. Oh my gosh, I haven't been obsessed for a while. Like, all I would talk about was zombies. Really? Yeah, I Look how shiny that is. Oh my gosh. Turn the hand upside down. We're going to let it self level out for a few seconds before we cure and then we're going to use some of our Pro Fantasia diamonds. What color diamond should we use? Do you have a red diamond? I don't, but let me get the colors of diamonds that I do have. Okay, we can bake this now. If I can find my Pro Fantasia diamonds, it's going next to me or everything. Oh! Careful. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But it scared me, startled me. Wait, Gloria thought she was doing me a favor when she was rearranging my desk and I was like, no, Gloria, you're giving me an aneurysm. That's why I'm like, even if things are messy in my room, I know where they are. It's called organized chaos. Yeah. My mom, it was her idea to have Gloria move everything around on my desk, but if you touch something from my mom's, who touched my things? How dare you? Suffer my wrath. She's like, don't even look at my things. Pretend nothing is here. Pretend there's poison on them if you touch them. Die. For real? And I was like, geez, that's how I feel when someone touches my things. She's like, I don't care. <laughs> Love the nails, Mac. Love one, Chrissy, 4.3 cents. Are you feeling it? Are they serving what they had to serve and ate everything up and left no crumbs? Yes, they are. Love, Chrissy. Love one, Chrissy, 4.3 cents. Ready for Bojangles. Jingle. Jingling at the jangles. That's how we roll. What's the bar where Angel was? Have you been there? Los Ponchos. Oh, yeah. have you been to Los Ponchos. I have not been to Los Ponchos. We should go after the grand opening party. I don't have anything to wear. Oh my god, stop saying that, Matt. Why? Because That's my favorite excuse for everything. Because I'm mom. That's why I want to meet her. <laughs> it's not a compliment. <laughs> yes, it is. If you do not want to sound like a 78 year old woman. Yeah, I do. That likes to read the books. Can't read anymore. She's like, oh, I want to just read my books watch America's Most Wanted. <laughs> and smoke my steak. <laughs> oh, Max, stop it. We're That's... gonna go to Asia's bar. I don't have anything to wear. I can't go. I'm sorry. Well, I just brought you a whole entire outfit. So. That's like 20 <laughs> sizes too big. Like I could literally fit in one pant like you guys. I don't even know their outfit. That's the bad thing about Halloween costumes is that they're so poorly made and ill-fitting. They are. Tell Peter from Gucci to make you a custom. Gucci outfit. should make Halloween costumes. They totally should. Sure. Or what about, I have a Beetlejuice costume. Oh no, I'm not gonna do Beetlejuice. That is a little too extreme. <laughs> so I'm missing the crystal ones. Oh, here they are. I found them. Oh my God. How was I gonna find them there? Yes. So we have the crystal Pro Fantasia. We have the pink, lavender, black diamond, and crystal AB. But I said black diamond and the crystal. Okay. And you guys know you can get all of our diamonds right now, 30% off, no promo code needed. Which one? Crystal? I think so too. And we can put some of the AB around it. So these are the diamond memories. So let's get some of these bad boys. But at some point, I want the black diamond. Ooh, yeah. So it's like maybe New Year's or something, huh? Black diamond with neon. That would be so dope. Yes. I want them all. At the same time. Just cover oh. all the nail with diamonds. Glow one, Christy, four point three said, I like those. Me too. Put my bling tool ready. Look how beautiful that is. That is serving the fantasy. So we're going to use squeezy or you can use gummy gel. I'm just going to use squeezy. I'm going to put diamonds on two fingers. Because that's how we roll on the south side. 
on the south side of Tu Fu Song. Did you ever cruise there? I heard about it. You heard about it? That was the spot. But you weren't about it. <laughs> I was not old enough. Any mom getting picky cruising in her car, her little car? No, she was too busy doing everybody's nails. <laughs> All the little mafiosos and their 500,000 girlfriends. They did, and they'd be like, don't tell anybody that uh, I'm bringing so-and-so in. <laughs> oh, look at that. That is stunning. I'm going to freeze it just for a few seconds. A little bit more squeezy right there. Right there. Who used to say, Chingy? Oh, so I was watching this thing about, you know, I love the shows in France, right? In Paris. Mm -hmm. They said that the girls of the Moulin Rouge are coat hangers. Like meaning what? That they don't dance. Huh? And I was like, now that I think about it, they kind of are like coat hangers. They No, they just like walk around covered in feathers. Oh. I, isn't this one I don't remember. I mean, I think I liked it, but I don't know. Like, it was also my first time being in Paris, and I was just, I think I would have liked anything. I was super excited. <laughs> And overwhelmed by yeah. the fantasy. <laughs> we have to go back. When there's no more bed bugs. No bed bugs. Why well, they're in Paris now? Yeah, it's really bad all over the country. Oh. And I don't want to get bed bugs. Me neither. And we'll bring them back and best the south side. Yeah, can you imagine? All our sleepovers. The no tell motel. I love this like random shaped diamond. It is everything. I always tell everyone that I need an egg-shaped diamond, but I mean like egg-sized is really what I'm trying to You're like, I need at least 20 an carats. An ostrich egg-sized diamond. I used to think ostrich eggs were cheaper and they're not. Oh well, yeah, well, I mean they're huge. And, and expensive. Rare. Yeah. Ostrich eggs are not rare. Aren't they more rare than chicken eggs? No, they're right there on Picacho Peak. Yeah, but I mean people like have chicken in the backyard. Who even has an ostrich in the backyard? That guy in Picacho Peak that owns the, the farm. That's not his ranch. I'm just thinking about regular people with chickens in their backyard. Oh, I guess so. You do have a point there. Because a lot of people raise chicken now. Really? Mm -hmm. Why? Because they're like being organic and like kiwi. Can you imagine raising a chicken? I want chicken, but I don't have the right yard for it anymore. I think it'd be cool, and then you could eat your own egg, fresh eggs that are organic. Oh, that's okay. Then I could bring you eggs in the <laughs> You're like, here's a dozen max. Enjoy. Oh my gosh, the diamonds dress it up so much. Yes, I love it. It's just making me like feel super fancy. And then the pro flashing lamp makes it easier to freeze them in place so that way they don't go anywhere. For reals, and then some. So I want to make my dog be Shira's um, unicorn horse thing, but I think I just need to buy like a unicorn. Are you gonna take her to the party? No, because she's bad. I want her to go so that way I can I take the gentleman. I know they kind of think. Yeah. What if she eats him? Your dad will kill me. My dad loves that dog. I know. Um, she just did really badly behaved to her. Really? No, she's really good. I think she's perfect, but sometimes she doesn't like people. Like she gets nervous or something, or protective. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like certain. Mostly, she's just super and She's like, "Ooh, little butt." Everyone wants her to pet her, but then certain people, she'll just like, mm -hmm. mm. like her mate, her and like. So that just makes it dangerous to take her places. Cause I don't really care about the people, but I don't want my dog getting in trouble. Yeah, go ahead and put that in for me. We're gonna take that for a minute. And because people like you, giving but we care about Mercy more. Yeah. But we take almost when he says that giving her side. She is the fantasy. I love it. I am like. Well, she is Marie Antoinette before yeah. they cut her head off. Yes, when she was still in cup. Lower. The story about her when she first got to France is actually kind of funny but sad at the same time. Which one? Well, back in the day, as you guys know, people didn't bathe like they do now. And she's not French, she was Austrian. So when she got to France, she was like, everybody stinks. Oh my gosh. She was like, you guys like need to get perfume. So she had like French perfumers make like a really strong scent for her. And then she would have potpourri sewn into the dresses of everybody so that way they wouldn't oh, wow. smell. What she was the men? Uh, them too. And I actually bought a replica of the perfume she wore, and I don't, I don't like how it smells. Really? And I love roses, but it doesn't smell just like roses. It smells kind of like woody, musky. Oh, yeah. And I don't like that, but I guess it helps cover up B.O. B.O. If you don't have deodorant, wear your Marie Antoinette Just layer it on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, and it's true, because I mean, if you think, I mean, in most cultures and stores, but people didn't bathe every day like we do. Mm -mm, they're like once a week if that, mm -hmm. or maybe less. And then I think about that they didn't have toothpaste, they didn't have toothbrushes, they didn't bathe, they didn't have running water, so when it was, um, Time to be intimate, like did anyone smell them? They wouldn't they wouldn't wash the I don't know, I don't know. 
And then we're gonna go in with liquid gummy and we're gonna seal these bad boys so that way they don't go anywhere. So with the needle tip point applicator, you can go around the diamonds, you guys, and really encapsulate them so that way they don't go anywhere. And it cures crystal clear. That's so cool. And that's why your jewels last, whereas other don't. You're like, I'm missing the diamond. You're like, not today. No, I'm innocent. I lost my biggest diamond. You're like, I lost my egg-shaped <laughs> zirconia. You know what I told my parents I would do with their ashes? Like, I already had this conversation with them. Is I'm going to turn them into diamonds. Oh my god, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. I wonder what quality diamonds they are, but still, I think they're diamonds. And then take them to a pawn shop. Oh my god, you're not getting a pawn shop. You have to wear them. Oh, no. I don't like wearing jewels. Ever? No, not really. That's why I don't even wear a watch. True. And then what would you do? Do you have diamonds? Just roll around in diamonds. <laughs> and my dad's a, well, he's not like a super big guy, but he's a big guy. He's shaped like an orangutan, so just roll around with a big old rock. We're gonna bake that now for one minute. That's what I mean. Wouldn't you just lose them if they're just like loose diamonds? I never thought about that. I'm not gonna like. Now we look through my parents. Have them in your pocket. Yeah. Now I think you're supposed to keep them with you. Like, because I know my friend did that with her daughter and she wears it on like a necklace. Really? I don't think it's a diamond, maybe, but a jewel. I don't know. But you have oh, to I have, have heard people do that with the ashes, but I would rather have. have I'd rather have a diamond. Max wants diamonds. I want diamonds, you willikers. <laughs> and I want like the best quality, too. Oh my gosh, you. <laughs> I decided you're gonna clock them. You could be Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> <laughs> and then glue feathers to my face. And then take a video where you just have all your gold and you're taking it back. <laughs> or like a leprechaun. Who takes me gold? Me pot of gold. Wait, you fall for a leprechaun. I am. And then he had like the ugliest black teeth. Did you have you guys seen that movie? Do you guys remember that? That one was a little scary just because like I feel like if it like reminds you of something in real life, it's more scary. The first one is definitely more scary. The other ones are funny. Make sure everything is nice and dry, perfect. And I feel like I'm not a weird way, but a lot of people look like that look like that. It's not like an Islamic look. <laughs> <laughs> it's like everybody go to the plastic surgeon. I want to look like the leprechaun. the leprechaun. If you had to look like a celebrity, like if you had to pick a celebrity that you had to look like, who would be? Like Tom? You look exactly like them. Um, height or just? Everything. Like, like you wouldn't be Max and you look like them, but you'd be you. But like you'd look like them. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know who's really, really handsome is the guy that played Superman. But I can't remember which. I'll look at his name up. Yeah. And some pose for the girls. Who would you be? I don't know. I think mean, body for sure, Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj? I love her body. Not Anna Nicole. She's like Pamela Anderson. Anderson. Yeah, Pamela Anderson. I think that's her. What do you guys think? I love the diamonds on the two fingers. Opulence, honey. Eat it up. And the shape. I love the shape from the side. How like snatched and sharp it is. Love one, 54.3 said I watch all of them. All of the Leprechaun movies? Yeah. They're such a guilty pleasure. Let me look up with the... Uh, not Leprechaun. Oh, that's not Ben Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Ben Affleck. Oh, Kate White said 75 knows that she, she said his name is Henry something and he is also on the... No, they're not him. Oh, a different Superman? Yeah. Which Superman do you want to be Max? Why don't you just look like Superman? Brandon Roth. And they actually, they say he's really nice in real life, too. Nailed it, Max. So we can almost 25 head. Yes, Do you love it? it? They are beautiful. Oh, I just feel right. really fancy. Hello? I, like, I need a Bentley now. Hello? Hello? Brown face. Oh, okay. I was like, you're just in the other room. What do you want? Um, I need a Bentley to go with my nails. Let me see a good picture of Brandon.